Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have a groundbreaking story which has unfolded over the last few hours. According to a group of scientists from the northeastern region of the United States, they have successfully cloned a human being. All of these aforementioned scientists have previously worked on the Human Genome Project back in 2003, and all have now been arrested in violation of laws considering human cloning. Now, according to officials from the FBI and the Justice Department, this cloned human being has been in existence for the last 16 years and has hidden among us in plain sight. Now, we at Channel 7 would like to advise all viewers to proceed with caution. Now, we're not sure if this story is entirely true, but recent evidence has suggested otherwise. If you see anything suspicious, local authorities urge you to contact them immediately. As for us, we'll be keeping you updated as new details of this story come to light. And if this story is true, we at Channel 7 have only one thing to say. It's a new dawn, a new era, and nothing, my friends, will ever be the same again. I'm John Burnham, reporting for Channel 7 News. Have a good one, folks. All right, class. Who here can tell me about DNA? Please, please, don't all raise your hands at once. Let's try something else. Who knows who's credited for the discovery of the structure of DNA? Bueller? Bueller? Anyone? James Watson and Herbert Craig. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. With today's technology, scientists can manipulate an organism's DNA. They can determine the gender or eye color of an unborn child. Scientists have even been able to clone certain species. Does anyone know the first mammal to be cloned? Yeah? Uh, was it a sheep? Yes, thank you. I'd be writing this down in your notes, everyone. The sheep's name was Dolly, and she was part of scientific history. Remember, we can take notes on chapter 5 for homework. You'll need to provide a detailed summary of what you have read and be prepared to share it in class tomorrow. Shit. Uh, that's nothing. It's nothing. It's quite good. David, how many times have I told you? You should be taking other classes and doing more with your talent. It's a shame. There's one thing that bothers me about being a teacher. It's seeing students waste their potential. Tell me you'll think about it, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Hey, so I found my dad's old Nintendo 64. Any interest in coming over tonight? I can't. I have way too much bio homework. So oh, come on. Dude, I can't. You know how sugar my parents are. Plus, I have a C in the class. <sighs> I get it. Hey, how about we make a deal? You don't know when to stop, do you? Nope. Fine. What do you got? Alright, so if you come over tonight for like an hour, I'll do 25% of your homework. Do I look stupid to you? 60%. 20. 40. 35. Deal. Nice. All right, well, buses are leaving, so I gotta go. Okay, it says these four, 4.30, one hour exactly, 35% of my homework. Got it. Okay. Don't get any stupid ideas until then. What, I look stupid to you?
Hey, honey, have you checked your phone? I was watching Channel 7 News, and they just reported the first clone, first human clone, has been created. It's been living among us for the last 16 years. There's a countrywide search for this thing. It's insane. Oh, my God. What? You actually believe that shit on TV? Hey! Language! I'm serious, Mom. This is science fiction. It's like something out of a comic book or a movie. God, you're so gullible. I am not. Yes, you are. If... God, it's like every day. If it weren't for you, Dad would be... Hey! Watch your tone. I feel like I hardly even know you anymore. Look, I did a damn good job raising you. Tell me what's on your mind. It's been like this because of... Nothing. Can I go to the park? I want to do some sketches. Fine. Clear your head. But we'll have this discussion later. Understood? Is this how you spend all your free time? I also read them. My god, you need a life. Hey. Sorry, I'm bored to make bad jokes. Alright, let's get this over with, shall we? Where's your Nintendo 64? Well, actually, I had a better idea. Whoa, what's all this? Didn't you hear? It's the dawn of a new era. I'm not sure I follow. Listen, the first human clone is out there, and it was just revealed that it could be within a 16 mile radius of this town. This is insane. Could you imagine if we came across this thing? So you want to go monster hunting? Like when we were six? Well, when you say it like that, it doesn't sound as cool, but yeah. I don't think this is such a good idea. I mean, this he or she, to be a normal person like us, doesn't want to be bothered. Also, how can we tell someone's a clone? Come on, we don't do anything fun anymore. You know what? I'll upgrade the deal. How about 75%? Well, if you insist. Yes. Alright, we'll take our bikes and we'll head on the north side of the park. And the hammers are for what? Self-defense? Well, yeah, well, I'm gonna use my lightsaber. Alright, now let's go. to apologize in advance, so I'm not that good. Eh, you're right. Seen better. I'm kidding. These are amazing. Really? Yeah. Where did you take art lessons? I'm actually self-taught. No way. I would kill to have talent like this. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm not that talented. Yes, you are. You could be selling some of this stuff. You're just saying that. Don't ever sell yourself short. You're really good. Thank you. Hey, I've seen you around school. You Violet? Yeah, we're in the same English class. Hey, do you come here often? Uh, sometimes. This is one of my favorite spots in the park. Same here. Come on, I'll show you a few other places I like. What exactly are we trying to find again? Uh, clones? Yeah, how do we know if we find a clone? Oh, well in most comic book storylines, a cloned human being would have something marked on their arm, like a brand. So we're just going to go around checking people's arms? No. 
Obviously, the cloned human being would have different behaviors than a regular human being. What if this one seems normal? Just trust me on this one, alright? I got a good feeling. Okay. Can we wrap this up? We've been at this for a while. Come on, just five more minutes. I got a good feeling. Okay. Listen, I know you think I'm crazy, but... Uh, it, it's not like that, it's just... <sighs> I just want to prove you wrong. So we should probably call up here in this rain, just like pretend like watermelon here. Yeah, just can't alert. What's all this? David Malone. Violet Weinberg? What are you doing out here? What are you doing out here? Fine, I'll go first. If I'm being honest, we're looking for human clones. Clone. Oh my god. You believe that crap too? Take note, Summer. Once again, another person who doubts me. You guys would get along great. Watch it. Hey, stop it! You made any progress? You too? Finally! Someone who believes in me! We've been doing great. Thanks. This is ridiculous. He's an idiot. Back off, asshole. Who are you talking to? Who's it look like I'm talking to? Your boyfriend. You better watch your mouth, okay? Or what? Back off. Or what? What are you gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do? I have a hammer in my head. Hey, hey, guys, guys. Stay out guys. of it. This isn't your business, okay? Um, guys? You know what? We should probably get going. We'll take it back to my place. No! We're not leaving. We're so close. I can feel it. Henry, we'll call it a night. No, I'm not giving up. Oh, well, you guys do what you want. We're heading home. Henry, I'm not kidding. It's safe out here. You go ahead. I'm doing this myself. Um, bathroom? Oh, well, thanks. Okay. Uh, thanks again for letting us come over. I knew your house was close to the park. And how'd you know that? I, uh, never mind. Hey. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I feel terrible about it. Uh, no, it's my fault. I have never been good at talking to people. Communicating. I know. It's pathetic. It's not. I have the same issue. Don't act all surprised. No, it's just... I always pictured you as this perfect person. Someone who had it all. Yeah. A lot of people think that, but they don't know it really goes on. They don't see the immense amount of pressure I get from my parents to be perfect. Sometimes, I just want to be me. Same here. I never knew who my dad was. I guess when he looked at me, he didn't care to stick around. No videos, no photos, no postcards. Nothing. My mother does the best she can, but I take my anger out on her. I've been blaming the wrong person my entire life. Then I guess we're both broken. I guess we are. 
and I want to fix it. I want to start trusting people. Starting today. Look, I know I said this whole clone thing is ridiculous, but I'm willing to believe it if you are. Why not? What do we need to lose? I'm sure he's gonna come back. Yeah. I'm heading home. Wait, why are you leaving? I don't want to be here with you anymore. Or her. I saw her sketchbook. It, it's not what it looks like. Just let me explain. What is that? It's just a birthmark. It's nothing. Wait. I remember Henry said something about the clones usually have markings on their arms. And it all makes sense, actually. We've been looking for a human clone, and she's been right in front of us. We found her. I can't believe it was you the whole time. It's, it's not what you think it is. You lied to me! I'm not a human clone! You have no proof! You talked about going to the park all the time. And then we found that tag in the woods! They have nothing to do with each other. Yeah? Then how come you were so quick to leave when we found it? It does seem a little suspicious. And what about the mark on your arm? It's a tattoo. Got about a year ago. It's something I'm not proud of. Yeah? That's funny. You just said it was a birthmark. I remember Henry said that the clone was 16. And I know for a fact that you celebrated your 16th birthday a month ago. Out of all of us, you're the only one here that's 16. I don't think it's such a coincidence anymore. What do you have to say for yourself? I didn't mean to! You didn't mean to what? Manipulate me? <laughs> I liked you. I trusted you! She's too dangerous. We can't afford anyone else getting hurt. David, what are you doing? I'm doing what you can't. Are you crazy? We're gonna call the police. We can't! If I'm the only one willing to get my hands dirty, so be it. David, you don't have to do this. Yes, I do. Don't hurt. You're better than this. Just put down the hammer and we can talk this through. I can't. Yes, you can. Trust me. Could you? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to make an apology on behalf of everyone here at Channel 7 News for starting that awful human clone story that we reported on earlier today. And I'm here, ladies and gentlemen, to set the record straight. It's always hard to do this. Investigators have recently disclosed to us and to the general public that this story from day one has always been false. I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, there has never been a human clone in existence. We, especially I, sincerely apologize for any inconvenience we caused. That was surely not our intention, and we'd like to thank you for standing by us in this difficult time. In other devastating local news, local boy Henry Gardner has been found dead in the forest, apparently the victim of a suicide. We'll keep you updated as new developments arise. I'm John Durnham, and I wish all of you a very good night.